Hi everybody, this is Anthea and you're watching Razor TV. You show me down, but I won't fall. I am titanium. You show me down, but I won't fall. I am titanium. She deferred her O level examinations at a shot for stardom. Won the spot on TVN's K pop star hunt season 2, and off to Seoul, Korea she went. And now back in Singapore, her eyes have been opened up to the K pop music industry. It taught me that music is not just about your voice, or it's about the packaging in total. You have to be good, yeah, you have to like speak well in front of people, you have to have the appearance that people want to look at, you have to have a good voice, definitely. But it's not, it's not just depending on your voice. On the reality television show, 16-year-old Anthea and 11 other finalists from other countries were asked if they wanted Botox injections and cosmetic fillers. Oh, well, it's definitely a cultural shock because to them it's, it's normal if like, they tell you, oh, you know, your, your jawline, it's not nice, it's supposed to be this shape, but it's not this shape. It's not right for you to have a jaw like that. They're used to that kind of thing, so it's okay for them, but to us, we were like, ow! Oh. When you first were... were were told that, how did it make you feel? Like having it told in your face is kind of like, it, it hurts you but it's hard to get overly offended at this guy because that's his job and he tells it to you with a really straight face like, oh, your nose is humped. Um, what, do you, what do you say was wrong with you? My jaw is square, okay. I have bad skin. <laughs> if, he said, your skin is fair but you're, you have like a ghostly complexion. Um, your nose is humped and here, like, it needs to be sharper here. I refuse it because it's not something I want right now. Maybe in future I might consider it, but just not now, you know. And I, I didn't have my phone with me at the time. I couldn't call my parents and it's just too quick. Like, they, they shove it right up in your face, like, do you want to do fillers now? If you call your parents, uh, what do you think your parents would, would have said? They'd tell me you're crazy, not now. And when do you think you will want to do? When I'm 20, 30, or maybe never. <laughs> Over 1,000 people auditioned live and via video entries, but the Granji Secondary School student beat them all, including the other 14 finalists at the Plaza Singapore Finals last September. <laughs> Anthea, who turns 17 in December, plans to take her O-levels at the end of this year after deferring for the competition. So after going through all this experience in your back, uh, any regrets deferring? No, uh, it's been a really great experience. I've met all these beautiful people who, they have the same interests as me. They really love to sing, love to dance. Right. Uh, I don't love to dance, but they love to dance. Um, love K-pop. So it's been really an engaging experience. Coming up in part 2, Anthea breaks down on the television show. I'm sorry, I just don't want to look at my reflection in the mirror for now. I never felt so ugly in my entire life.